Sasu salamu alaykum. What is the ruling on having a medical tattoo? This was suggested by the doctor to restore the original color, the color on a area of the skin following a surgery. A medical tattoo? Yeah. See, tattoos is not permissible in Islam. It may be have, you may have had a tattoo done in Jahiliya in times before Islam or a time where you, know, you were a little bit lax concerning those rules. Um, but in general, it is not allowed to have a tattoo. Now, there are procedures where you can have the tattoo removed by laser treatment. Um, if you're able to do that, then it's good. Uh, but certainly, no one's going to say it's permissible for you to do further tattoos. Yeah. So you've got a tattoo, or you can do some more. No. Uh, in general, it's not permissible for you to, to do further work on a tattoo. Right. No. Because I've seen Sheikh, for example, sisters now, they, they start to tattoo their eyebrows. Yeah. Now, is this permissible? Because they, they're saying it's haram to pluck it, so we decided to yeah. put, tattoo it now. Yeah, so this tattooing is, is not a permanent one, you see. Okay. It's not a permanent one. It is a dye that is, it can last up to three months. Okay. And it can last up to, up to, up to six months. So technically, it's, it's like a, um, an extended version of henna. Henna can will remain on your, in, in your skin for a little while and then eventually go away. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is prohibited is the tattoos which are permanent. Right. The permanent tattoos. Uh, are not permissible. As for the temporary ones, then they can differ in how long it lasts in your skin for a matter of days, up to months. Now, I don't know the uh, medical ramifications of these dyes remaining in your skin for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say that, I mean, it's not haram, but, uh, I mean, if it is not haram, then it would say it is allowed. Mm -hmm. But um, the permanent ones, this is something you need to stay away from. Barakallahu feek shaykhana.